Hi guys, marhaba, this is Shariq and welcome back to Globetrot with Arabic with another Lebanese Arabic lesson, this time from Hyde Park. Um, before I begin my lesson, let me as usual ask you to subscribe to my channel if you find my lessons useful. Also follow me on Instagram at Globetrot with Arabic as well as on Facebook. I will turn my camera and show you around. This is going to be a lesson about fall in London, autumn in London. It's such a beautiful season. I'm going to turn my camera and show you what's happening around me, the people, the beautiful colors of the trees and everything, and we can talk about them in Arabic. See you! Before I turn my camera, actually, let me tell you that I'm sitting here on the bench. Let's say this in Arabic. I'm sitting. In Lebanese Arabic, we will say al bank, just bench, bank. We will call it bank. It's so windy. Ana hella erde al bank. Ana na ay. Okay. So ana hella I now erde. I'm sitting al bank on the bench al bank, and I'm using erde. What does erde mean? Literally, it means sitter, the person who sits. So if it's masculine, it's a'ad. If it's feminine, it's a'adi. But because I'm a lady, I will say ana a'adi. If you're a guy, you would say ana a'ad. Ana a'ad al bank or ana a'adi al bank. I will turn the camera and show you things here. Okay, I will just begin by showing you around and then I will explain things. Okay, let's start by saying there are lots of pigeons in the park. Fi ktir hamimet bil hadia lam. Now, let's repeat. Fi, there is or there are. Ktir, a lot of or very. In this context, it means a lot. Fi ktir hamimet. Hamime is in the singular. Hamimet is in the plural. Fi ktir hamimet. B in Al Hadia, literally the garden, Al Amme, which means the public. Al Hadia Al Amme, the public garden, which means park. But in Lebanon, we can also say Bel Park. We say park instead of Al Hadia Al Amme. Fi ktir hamemet Bel Park, or or Fi ktir hamemet Bel Hadia Al Amme. And when I'm saying bil hadia, I'm not pronouncing it b and then posing il and then hadia. No, we use a liaison. We say bil hadia in the garden. And let's say there are lots of people. Ufi ktir nes. Not a lot, but let's say fi nes. There are people. Ufi nes bil park. There are people in the park. Fi nes bil park. There is a dog there. Fi kalib. Fi kalib, there is a dog, or I can say Haida kalib, am birkud. Haida kalib, am birkud. This is a dog, he is running, or this is a running dog. Haida kalib, am birkud. I'm gonna say the colors of the trees is very beautiful. Alwin, a shajar, ktir halween. Now, lon in Arabic means color. Alwin is the plural of color, it means colors. Lon alwin. Alwin is shajar, the colors of the trees. Alwin is shajar. Ktir halween are very beautiful. Ktir halween. There is a puddle here, so I'm gonna say fi birkit mai. Fi, there is birke, fi birke. Birkit mai. I'm pronouncing the te marbuta of birke because it's followed by mai. If it's just fi birke, I don't pronounce the te marbuta. But if it's followed by mai, I pronounce the te marbuta and I say fi birkit mai. Let me zoom in. Look how beautiful this is. To say look how beautiful this is, I can say laiku 
شو حلو هيدا الشي ليكو or شوفو it's exactly the same thing you can say ليكو it's the plural form of look if I'm talking to you guys I say ليكو and I can also say شوفو شوفو شو حلو how beautiful هيدا الشي this thing شوفو شو حلو هيدا الشي and if I'm talking to one person I can say شوف شو حلو look how beautiful if I'm talking to a guy if I'm talking to a girl I'm gonna say شوفي شو حلو هيدا الشي I think they found food let's see okay so let's say for example they are eating هني عم بيكلو هني عم بيكلو so بيكلو in Arabic is they eat عم بيكلو is they are eating it makes it present continuous عم بيكلو I'm gonna say عجأت عجأت in Arabic uh, we say it when suddenly there's a lot of people or something like a lot of things are happening suddenly at the same time so I now because of, because we have so many of them I say عجأت oh look at this black one ليكو هيدا الأسود ليكو look هيدا this الأسود the black one الحمام uh, السودا I can say الحمام السودا the black pigeon he's eating hot dog عم بيكل he is eating عم بيكل hot dog عم بيكل hot dog actually sausages in Arabic is سجو سجو but we, the hot dogs like the American kind of hot dogs we call them hot dogs but the Lebanese kind of sausages we call them سجو سجو there are two more dogs there I would say في كلبين هونيك كلب we said is one dog when we add the in in the end كلبين it makes it dual so in Arabic when we are counting something and it's just two of them we don't have to say two dogs no we just add a suffix in the end and it makes it dual so in this case I don't say اثنين كلبين I don't need to say it I just say كلبين I said في كلبين هونيك there are two dogs there في كلبين هونيك in Arabic leaves we, we use the word paper to refer to leaves so um, I want to say ورق الشجر ورق الشجر pronounced with the liaison as ورق الشجر ورق الشجر أصفر ورق الشجر pronounced as ورق الشجر أصفر وفي كمان ورق أخضر في كمان ورق أخضر I want to say there are papers on the floor في ورق على الأرض I can also say في وراء في وراء على الأرض في وراء على الأرض I can say وراء الشجر I can also say وراء الشجر وراء الشجر أصفر وراء الشجر صفر in that case if I use وراء and there are papers on the floor which means leaves on the floor في وراء على الأرض I want to say we are now in autumn نحنا هلأ نحنا هلأ we are now نحنا هلأ بفصل فصل means season نحنا هلأ بفصل الخريف نحنا هلأ بفصل الخريف in the season of uh, fall or autumn نحنا هلأ بفصل الخريف الحمامات عم بيشربوا ماي الحمامات عم بيشربوا ماي الحمامات طاروا they flew طاروا طاروا okay now they're not drinking water anymore so I'm not gonna say الحمامات you see there's not none left so I'm not gonna say الحمامات عم بيشربوا ماي I want to say they were drinking water in this case I say كانوا عم يشربوا ماي كانوا عم يشربوا ماي I actually there are so many dogs here let's say this في كتير كلب so كلب is in the singular form كلب is in the plural form في كتير كلب اليوم there are lots of dogs today في كتير 
كليب اليوم في رجال في رجال there is a man في رجال عم بيركض he is running في رجال عم بيركض is running let me walk around now and show you more more things from different angles and also different colors maybe here's another dog وهيدي كلب تاني وهيدي كلب تاني and this is a second dog which means another dog وهيدي كلب تاني I want to say he's playing with the ball عم بيلعب عم بيلعب he's playing عم بيلعب بالطابة with the ball عم بيلعب بالطابة Tabe. I have to write it as Biltabe, but we have to pronounce it. We have to pronounce it as Bittabe with a liaison. Bittabe. Am bielab Bittabe. So, uheida kelb tene. Am bielab Bittabe. There is an airplane. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, yeah, there it is. Uheida tiara. Uheida tiara. وهيدي طيارة This is an airplane It's very windy today So let's say this الهوا كتير قوي اليوم الهوا كتير قوي الهوا The wind كتير Very قوي Strong الهوا كتير قوي اليوم uh, I want to say I like the noise of the trees بحب Aswat is shajar. Sot is singular. Aswat is plural. Peb aswat, the noises. Peb aswat is shajar. Or peb aswat lura, the papers. Peb aswat lura. Let's look at these trees and say which color is each. Haydi shajra safra. Haydi. شجرة صفرة. So we used أصفر before because that was the masculine form of yellow. This one is a tree. شجرة is a feminine word, so it has to have a feminine adjective. هيدي شجرة صفرة. وهيدي شجرة خضرة. And this is a green tree. وهيدي شجرة خضرة. That one is red, almost red. So وهيدي شجرة حمرة هيدي شجرة حمرة This place is so beautiful I love this park so let's say it أنا كتير بحب هيدا البارك أنا كتير بحب هيدا البارك or أنا كتير بحب هيدي الحديقة The nice thing about it is that it's really quiet here but just like 20 meters away it's the main road so there are lots of cars So we can say there are lots of cars there. Honik, Honik means there. Honik, fiktir siyaret. Honik, there, fiktir siyaret. But I want to say, but here it's quiet. Bashon, but here, bashon, ktir rawa. Rawa in Arabic means quietness or calmness. So when I say fiktir rawa or hon ktir rawa, it means it's very quiet here. It's like you are saying there is quietness here. بس هون كتير رواء. I will just walk around and show you a little bit of this place. And I will turn my camera as well to say goodbye to you. Okay guys, that's it for today. هيدا كل شي لليوم. هيدا this. كل شي everything لليوم. For today. That's it for today. هيدا كل شي لليوم. Okay, the dog is being naughty. Are you talking to her? Uh, no, I'm talking to the camera. Uh, okay. I'm recording. I thought you were talking to her. No, but I can talk to him. Why not? Huh? Yeah, <laughs> if he's a nice boy, why not? Don't give him food if you No, no, I don't have food. Okay, guys. So I was saying that's it for today. For today, this. 
كل شيء everything لا اليوم for today that's it for today I hope you found it useful and if you did don't forget to subscribe to my channel also follow me on Instagram and on YouTube and let me before you go ask you to write these sentences listen to them carefully ideally if you can handwrite them in Arabic would be great because this helps you memorize things if not it's okay you can write them in the transcribed form and leave them in the comment box below as a homework okay so that's going to be your homework for today to write all the sentences that we did or at least five of the sentences that we did today in the comment box and if you have a question don't hesitate to ask that's it and i will show you around see you Ma salama. Ma salame. Yalla bye.